the assignments that the word does to you is to wash your mind, that mind that is darkened, that cannot see that you are righteous. Sin is in the mind. Sinful acts are happens in the mind. The body can never go where the mind is not. Before the body moves, the mind has gone. If you can restrain the mind, the body will not go. Some people have come up with very, uh, you know, very uh, torture, you know, self-torture. Self-torture, I've been giving you examples of people who perceive this flesh as a, some called it brother donkey. Others felt that this is the only enemy I have. And so if I can be whipped, if I can be crucified upside down, I'll go to heaven holy. Righteousness that we have received is in our spirit. The obstacle, the hindrance of delivering what we are is mind. Because an old mind cannot be able to know the will of God. An old mind is commanded by the physical, is commanded by the happenings in the body, is commanded by the happening in the radio station, in the, whatever you see commands you align so well. But a new mind, a renewed mind, so as I'm talking to you, I'm doing a formatting. There is a formatting that I'm doing in your mind. I'm washing your mind. So the greatest uh, and the easiest and the best way to walk in the righteousness that you have beheld. Well, some people really have a problem because they feel, I'm righteous, but I'm not able to tame this tongue of mine. It's not about the tongue. Yes. Don't cut the tongue. The tongue is fearfully and wonderfully made. We need to wash the mind. Before you talk, you have imagined, if we can arrest it here, we got you. If we can handle it here, we have you. If we can be able to tengeneza mamba huku, kuangia itakuwa sawa. Kuangalia kwa kosiyo shida, that you're looking so much, you're looking, you're not able to settle. You don't understand yourself, you're married, but you're not able to settle with your sight. It's not a problem with your eyes. You don't need literally like, you know, some people take the Bible literally, that Jesus said, if your eye will prevent you from going to heaven, you pluck it out. We, we have the spirit of revelation. Your eye cannot see what your mind is not saying. So if the mind is or be programmed by hearing of the word of God, like I've been telling you, you are the righteousness of God. You are righteous. I'm telling you. That program, when that program ikingia kwa kichwa chako, about dreams, about evil dreams, it dreams select from uh, an existing dreams select from an existing problem in the mind. Most of the time, the, the manipulation happens with an existing file in the mind, and especially when you don't know who you are, when you don't understand, and when you don't settle with your identity in Christ, there is a lot of manipulation that usually happens. But as you continue to look at yourself through the word of God, the word of God is washing. The word of God is removing those sinful potentialities that are embedded in your mind. The strongholds of the mind that allows for sin will be washed away by the entrance of the word of God. Because the Bible says in Psalms 119 and verses 1 that uh, the entrance of the word of God bring a light. If you're struggling with so many things, keep allowing the word to enter. The word will introduce a new system. Because again, when you decide, I'll not be talking, I'll not be wearing this way, I'll not be talking to this, I'll be drinking water so that I'll not talk with anybody, all that will fail you. These are, these are efforts in the flesh. Sita beba mtu na moyo wangu. When you decide like that, utawabeba zaidi. Sita kuwa na kula pesa ya kanisa, utakula yote. It's not by power, it's not by might, it's by the Holy Spirit. You give the Holy Spirit to help you. You give the Holy Spirit the latitude to work with you. When you accommodate the realities of the word of God says you are righteous. Be settled with that. What your Holy Spirit afanya kazi yake. Take it, you know, talk it. Confuse your mouth. This is a kingdom of talkers. We talk it. We talk it. You see, like, I'm not really living. Instead of struggling, you wear a long dress, you know, unafuga hata kalibu ufuge, titui mapua, unabakisha huku. Those are sinners in the mind. Unafuga tu, unafuga everywhere. Unabakisha huku, unabakisha huku. Unafuga. 
Asa unavuga, because you don't want to sin, you don't want to see people. So, unafanya hivi. All these are vain efforts. You don't know what these people do in secret. You don't know what they do in secret. I've had a chance to live with some of them. Because in the inside, the mind is so dirty. So even if you do like this, what you are imagining here, wengine wataenda kuzimu kwa sababu ya zile vitu zilikuwa zinapikwa kwa akili zao. The word of God washes the head. Washes the mind. How? I call you righteous. Yes, you are. You are righteous. As Christ is righteous, so are you. The day you settle with these realities, Deeper Colossians 1.23, the day you settle with these divine realities, you hold firmly, I am the righteousness of God. When that program enters, it is able to wash you. It is able to cleanse you. Colossians 1 and verses 23, the Bible says, If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you had, if you continue with believing what God calls you, where, how does God, God calls you what? God calls you righteous. Remember the topic is about righteousness. God is calling you righteous. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter number 2. Let's go to Corinthians 521. The word of God through your phone. The word of God says that we are the righteousness of God. As we accommodate these realities, they are programs. Kuna, 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 kuna kutakazo ambayo kuna ingia. Kuna separation inaendelea kwa anga za kiro. Ukipata a kwamba accuser of the brethren is able to link you so much with that old man, with that old family. It's because your mind has not shifted. Truly, you have been brought out from darkness into the kingdom of light. But do you know, I give you an assignment and I'll check it on Monday. I want you to go and search in the New Testament. The many words that talks about knowing. Knowing is a mind thing. God has done it without your knowledge. It's you now to listen to the teacher of the word and to read your Bible to know. It will remain a reality in your spirit that is not working for you if you don't give your heart to knowledge. People do ignore knowledge if you call for a session of prophecy, you know, mabombingi. They'll give themselves to things that cannot build them. But knowledge is a key prerequisite in this kingdom. Because the Bible says in Colossians 3 and verses 10, the Bible says in Colossians 3 and verses 10, and have put on the new man, surely, no controversy, no discussion, no compromise, no what, surely, anyone in Christ Jesus is a new creation. But the Bible says this man is being renewed in knowledge into the image of him. The more you know what you are, what this new man means, what this new man carries, the more you march forward, the more you move forward now to the image of Christ. As you, as you look at Christ, you behold him. Hakuna mtu watasubua mtu ambaye anakaa kristo. Lakini mtu ambaye anakaa wewe atadaiwa mpaka na hizo madhabau na wewe siyo wa madhabau. Kama unakaa wewe, utapigwa vita spiritual remitations zitakutafuta up and down. Ata kama umeokoka. A person who looks like you. A person who looks like you. Huku kuanga, kuna kuanga na maroho mingi sana. Inajua mai maroho, kuna ma principalities, kuna ma wicked rulers, kuna, kuna what? My pastor, kuna rulers of darkness, kuna might, powers. They know who knows themselves and people who don't know themselves. As you get to know yourself, you are aligning yourself properly in the realms of God, in the realms of the Spirit. Yeah. It is by knowledge. It is true that that's who you are. You are not a sinner. You are righteous. You are healed. You are not sick. You are rich. But until you know, to the level you know, to the level you manifest. 
to the level that you know that is the level that you manifest to the level that you know it's to the level that you have allowed God to work through you is the, to the level that you have allowed God to occupy is to the level that you have allowed God to occupy you know and you believe totally you are the righteousness of God you're the righteousness of God. You know you are convinced. You are the righteousness of God. As you behold this reality, as you talk it, as you pray, as you think about it, as you meditate about it, as you meditate about it, something is shifting. The Holy Spirit is putting up every system to ensure that that righteousness that you have accepted is flowing with you. To the level you know, the level you manifest. to the level you manifest, so that you have become in your spirit, that you have become in your spirit does not mean, does not mean it is manifesting. Your knowledge is a key determinant of what you are enjoying here and now seeing we may continue to chase after you weapons may continue to prosper against you and the bible says that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment we shall condemn it because our righteousness is of god and not of us it's not that because it is written don't use this one like you it's not that because it's written, it's working for you. It's hearing and believing. I am the righteousness of God by faith. I have become the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. It's not about kufanya hatua, sita kuwa na ogea na huyu, sita kuwa na salimia huyu, sita kuwa na ongelesha huyu, sita kuwa na... It's not about that. No matter what you decide and your mind is still in the old, you will find yourself doing Paulo alikuwa anasema akiamua hatafanya hii anajipata anafanya ile ingine. It's a renewed mind that we need for this matter. It's a renewed mind for that we need do it nini. That we need for this matter. Second Corinthians 5 and verses 21. The Bible says for he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You don't become the righteousness of God the day you manage not to talk to anybody. You don't become the righteousness of God the day you don't covet. You don't become the righteousness of God the day you stay in prayer, nor by fasting, nor cutting one of your hand. You, it's, it's what you've been made by grace. For us is to accept. Let it wash your mind. Oh, yes. Let it wash your thinking. Hallelujah. As the entrance of the word is get, as the word is getting in, it's getting out now. The 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 the, the, the strongholds that cannot support a righteous system Amen. are being rooted. This is the formula to grow. Igine yote ni legalistic. Hizo zingine ukiamua utajipata kwa makosa kila wakati. Just allow the entrance of the word of God. Allow a righteous program. It is from heaven. It is divine. Yes, God, you say, keep looking. Keep looking. Behold these realities. Oh, this is the only formula to overcome sin and to live sinfully. Mm -hmm. Because we have now, the Bible says, we are dead to sin. That's our talk. I'm dead to sin. Even if I talk carelessly, I talk it. Um, I, I know how to talk. I'm, I'm allowing. When you accept that divine realities, you give the Holy Spirit to be the Holy Spirit. He is our helper. He is now putting up every system. Ikibidi atakuamusha ukue muambezi. Ikibidi atakunenea. Tembelea hapa. Tembelea hapa. First accept. The Bible says in Isaiah. And you shall hear a voice telling you this is not the way and that is not if you want to know where the holy spirit is like this he is he is so full where 
in a believer who have received the word of God as it is. Amen. Not a believer who is reasoning with the word of God. I'm righteous how now what? Asa baibu atakama mugu anasemaga. Atakama mugu anasemaga. Utaka ukiwa uta struggle na wakovu. You struggle with salvation if that be your talk. If that be your mentality. Even if God is saying, even if God, this is not a mind thing, it's the word of God. We have been born by the word of God. And the word of God is telling you that you are the righteousness of God. We start yeah. there. The Bible says in John uh, John 17 and verses 17 John 17 and verses 17 Amen. the formula to living righteously is not by wearing a wrong dress. If you wear a wrong dress and the day you remove it you go to immorality you are very dirty in the mind. You're very dirty in the mind. You you should restrain yourself from a point of my mind has changed. Mm. My mind does not sustain such possibilities. Mm. I call them with kikuyu. Usually I normally call them guy. Guy siya mehia. Mwere wakwa dore. Guy ne guy siya mehia. Guy ne koma daga mwere wakanyone mehia. Zime tolewa. Kwa sababu neno lime format kichwa yangu. Even if they do what, even if they do what, I just, my body, my, the members of my body have responded to the righteous nature because I know it, I talk it, I think it, I behold it, I meditate about it, that's what I call myself. My body has responded, my, the members of my body, Amen. the members that are upon the earth, I, they have been synchronized. Mastopeli nasa kamba la gadasta la dasta. He knows Sulina Selina. Yes, so nasi nasi nasi. My body has been psychologized to the frequencies of Zion because I have com yeah, accommodated. Sister. I have accommodated a new program that yeah. tunes me to frequencies of heaven. Yeah. My body have tuned. My body is tamed. I'm tamed. I can only be righteous. I'm bearing fruits unto righteousness and bearing fruits unto holiness. It's not just by deciding. I will not say kwa napitia hii jia kwa sababu hapa kuna simamanga sijui nani usiku utapitia hapo but your body cannot respond to the evil that is outside of you. That's what it means to be righteous. The God has imparted you with his very nature. He has, you cannot sustain two natures. You cannot be sinful and righteous. This must be our mindset. If it is God who has given us righteousness, then the Bible categorically says we are dead to sin and we have been quickened to righteousness. What we do, we have been quick. We don't talk it like it adds here. We go, we keep looking. We keep looking. And the Bible says in John 17 and verses 17, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Sant oh, Shanda Makasa Bayaya. Hina Hina Sila Kumuka Nasila Kinela Sadima. Yembele Sotola. I'm washing your mind. I'm washing your mind. It's not like you have demons. It's not like you have altars. It's an old mind. The old mind is in futility. Kindly give me Ephesians 4. The old mind is still in futility. The old mind is still in futility. The old mind is still in uselessness. We are now washing it. Ephesians 5 and 23. Sanctify them. Ni wapi kuna oshwa na umeokoka ni kichwa. Ni mawazo yako. Dio inaoshwa. Utakatifu utoke na ndani. Ule utakatifu uko kwa spirit. Ukipanda kichwa kiwache kuleta block. Kwa sababu ya magiza. Ikitoka kwa spirit. Mind. You, ikito, oh, oh, oh. Konyuku manga nga nga. Sai karadisa. Ikito. Lea ni makuwa kwa ibada ni kona moto ile. We. Sasa unajua tulikuwa na ubiruwa na my husband. Alikuwa na tufunza mambo wacha ni situpe la ini. Nasa. Utakatifu mana uko kwa spirit. When these commands are released by your spirit, a mind that is washed is able to agree with the spirit. That is what we call being spiritually minded. 
being spiritually minded, the commands that are coming from your spirit, which is receiving communication from God who is a spirit, and when they are brought to your mind, your mind is able to say yes to the will of God, but a mind that is in darkness, a mind that has not allowed a formatting by the word of God, a mind that is still in the old, a mind that has not allowed allowed the entrance of the word of God, tries to do things, dad, to, I, I call him, tries to do things to appear, you know, I'm pretending to call you, and you know that's how I call you, uh, tries to do things to achieve righteousness. Do you know inside of you, you are struggling with sin. And now you know the Bible says you are righteous. And you want to appear righteous before men, before your pastor, before the congregation. So what do you do? You look for your own righteousness. You look for ways and means to appear. But inside of you, you delight in sin. Given a chance, you would do evil. But when the mind is totally, those muscles that support sin are done away with, you are sanctified by the word of God in your mind. The signal that comes to your spirit from the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit releases a signal to your spirit. The Holy Spirit releases a signal to your spirit. Ini Masaya Maombi, umewekwa hiyo, impasses, pakleni na manana na na na. Impasses of the Holy Ghost. Impasses of the Holy Ghost can be sensed by your spirit so fast because your spirit and Christ are one. Amen. So you know the will of God in your spirit. But a mind that is not sanctified, a mind that is not renewed, will not will block. You receive the impasses, the signals. The signals of the spirit. These are the signals. Signals coming in your spirit. They are welcomed. Oh yes. They are welcomed. Now go and execute. And your media. Your mind as a media. Is corrupted. Your mind has not accommodated. The truths of the word of God. So when your mind receives. The command. It blocks. It blocks the impasses. It blocks the impasses. The Holy Spirit is ever in communion with you. Amen. You know, one person asked me, how do I know that the Holy Spirit is talking to me? And then I asked that particular person, when is he not talking to you? How do I know when God is talking to me? And then I asked that particular saint, and I have a question. When is he not talking to you? You are the dwelling place of God. God is not now calling us in the mountain to talk to us. Every single minute he is talking to you. Why can't you hear him? Why can't you hear him? Because the mind is dirty. Why can't you hear him? Because the mind is in the old. However new you are, you are a new creation. No discussion about that. But the mind must be washed. What is being washed? The Bible, the Bible is talking about washing. What is being washed is your mind to come from the futility, uselessness, so that the impulses of, your, of the Holy Spirit, which are welcomed in your spirit, they will find expression through your soul to the body. They will not be blocked. And that's how now you'll be able to know the perfect will of God. You don't really need to go to the prophet. Hapa nifanya nini? Hapa nifanya nini? Si wewe kichwa ikioshwa itajua mapenzi ya mungu kwa maishi. You know what to eat and what not to eat. You don't need to keep on asking anybody. Pobe ni muzuri. Bagi ni muzuri. Bagi sijui. Sijui kichwa chafu kitauliza maswali. Abawa itafeva mwili. Lakini ukiruhusu kichwa chako if you accept because there are people who are still talking about it and they have not accept if you accept the impasses the impasses of the of the holy spirit which are always flowing they will be heard they will be received well by a mind that has been sanctified by the word of God. So as I'm talking to you, it's not like I'm really giving you anything. You have you have all things in you. You have all things in you. Because you have received Jesus. And the Bible says that the fullness of the Godhead is in the Son. And the Son is in you. The fullness of the Godhead 
is in the sun and the sun is in you. Why is it not finding expression? We are formatting our minds. Let me tell you, Amen. before God takes you to certain dimensions of glory, he will deal with your mind like you, you, you cannot imagine. He will really and seriously deal with your mind. He will, deal, he will allow dealings. God himself allows dealings. Some of them looks like it's devil. God allows dealing Amen. to deal with that mind That's of yours until it comes to a point where it can allow the will of God in your spirit to find expression. The Bible says in John chapter number 17 and verses 17. So as you are listening to the word of God, you're being washed. I call you righteous. You are the righteousness of God. No doubt about that. You are the righteousness of God. The Bible says, sanctify them by your truth. The truth is that you are the righteousness of God. The Bible says, John 17 and verse 17, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Waoshe na ukweli, maana neno lako ni ukweli. Nami na kuosha usiku wa leo. Uwa nauliza kanisa kama linataka ni kuja na maji. That is why kanisani watu wanaoshwa na maji. Kwa sababu nikikwabia neno ambalo ninakupatia linakuosha hauamini. Kwa hivyo pasta anakuja na maji ndiyo sasa muamini. Lakini they have an idea. Ata kama hawajafika wanaona kama marudurudu. Kwale wanatumia maji wanajuwaga kuna vitu zinaoshaka. This is the word. The word of God will wash you. If you don't want to finally look for those pastors about what are kuwasha na maji, basi kubali neno li kuwashe. Ukubali neno la mungu li kuwashe. Neno la mungu li sipo kuwasha, mapepo itakuwa mingi na mimi ukikuja na iyo mapepo itakuwa maji ya mutuki ni kumwagiria kwa sababu ata kichu hakina imani. You know, that time it has no faith. So I have to invoke, I have to do this. Why unaona hizi ka mabomiki na edelea adad? Kwa sababu sasa huyu mtu hata hana imani hata kidogo. Sasa unatumia hata majienya naona na macho tu. Unaprovoke tu, unaprovoke imani dani yake mana. Kichwa hakijui mugu hata hakijui ye ni nani. Hata anajiita mutubure, hata anajiita amerogwa, hata anasema anakufa. Sasa ukiletawa kalanti kama huyo, hata unamwabia ni kiube kipi anakuagalia ye. Na mwigini ya linipigia si mujana na jaribu kumwabia. Mwewe, ukuje ni kufonza neno la mugu. Ani makini hizi shida zagu. Zuhu mtu kama huyo, you really don't know how to tell them. You tell them they need teachings, they think that the devil is kwa kwa mabati na kwa compound na kila mawa shika nishi. The word of God washes your mind. The word of God washes your mind. When your mind is washed, you will not habitate demons. Demons will not stay. But a mind that is not washed, even though you are born again, mapepo itakushubua, the word of God washes your mind. The word of God washes your mind Amen. to the level that you are clean, to the level the spirit, the divine realities that are in your spirit are finding expression. If the mind is not washed, they will be blocked. The Bible says in John 15 and verses 3, I'm showing you the essence, the reason as to why you are the righteousness of God. So that you not go struggling to do, to be. You know, struggling to be. You know, struggling to be. You just need to accept. It is as simple as ABC. You do your work, let the Holy Spirit be the Holy Spirit. He will take over. He will know. You know the system. You, you accept. Let the word of God fight, 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 uh, agree with the word of God first. John 15, verses 3, the Bible says, you are already clean. Because of the word which I have spoken to you. You know, I, I taught saints another time and then I nikawabia wasimame. And then I read this verse. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. If you call people with water, they will respond so well. But this is the truth. As you are hearing me, I am calling you, I am telling you what the word of God calls you. You are clean. You don't need washing. You don't need maji ya mtungi. You are clean. Ata ukiwe kwa kwa maji na kichwa akita funzwa bado utakuwa mchafu utatoka kwa maji na uende ukafanye meguta utaenda uwe maana kuoshwa ni kichwa kuoshwa ni kichwa 
hata hiyo baptism lazima uielewe na kichwa chako mimi nimekufa ninafufuka sasa huyu amefufuka ni kama Yesu alivyo Yesu ndivyo nilivyo ukikubali hivyo the holy spirit fights the attitude anapata ground mzuri ya kufanya hata kusaidia hata waleta nini hata kwa anga yako hata kwa doto, la, doto zako neno linasimama huyu anajijua neno hata simama sikia neno ambaye hujamjua hata simama it's not just because you are born again it is by knowledge by knowing the bible says john 15 and verses 3 you are already clean because of the word which i have spoken to you ile kuoshwa ya kabisa ile kutakaswa ya kabisa ile baptism ya kabisa ni wakati mawazo yako inaelimishwa ijue umetoka wapi na umeenda wapi huwa ninaambia wateule huku hata tukiomba maombi asubuhi na wabiaga devil is not your neighbor you have been brought out from the kingdom of darkness and you have been brought into the kingdom of light devil is not your neighbor you dream with the darkness that darkness is in the mind If you see demons these are strongholds in the mind you don't need deliverance per se but if your your situation is so bad as deteriorating come we will get them out we have been graced for every level of growth for believers kuna wengine hatutahubilia kwanza tutaziabia wewe kanyaga nje wewe shetani alafu tukuweke pale ukiona doto zako ziko aga yako inaweza kuabia kile umekubali na kile hujakubali When, because me I dream a lot actually I dream a lot before I wake up to rebuke I sit down and I ask my god which is this divine reality that I have not captured why am I feeding in the dream why am I mimi bona na kibizo si neno linaniambia nitaona mgogo wa maadui zangu they also comes by many cares hata ukiwaza lakini hizo cares zinatoka wapi bado mawazo hata hata cares zinakuwa provoked na mawazo na old mind darkness in the mind so i was sit and i ni pati gani mugu sijajua ni pati gani sijaangalia niende niangalie nifanane nayo do you know it's just by looking the bible says in hebrews 4 and verses 12 you know the word of god is not a dead matter that you just interact with it and then you are left to try things on your own it releases the power and the energy it releases the grace of god the bible says in hebrews 4 and verses 12 for the word of god is living you know as i tell you that you are righteous this is not a statement second corinthians 5 verses 21 you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus that is not a statement it is live and active it is able when i say it is live and active i mean it is able to form itself in you you only need to look look and behold look and behold ukijaribu kushida huu mwili na binu zako utalemewa ukijaribu kupigana hizi anga na na energy zako utalemewa look and behold There is a time I went in a season here very tough spiritual battles. These of vita zilikuwa zinaanguka. That is the time Mungu alikuwa ameblock hata nisisaidiwe na pastor wangu. Mimi mwenyewe ni mjue. Vile nilizidi kumjua zinaanguka. Nikijua dimension fulani ya Mungu zinaanguka. Kuna wakati nilikuwa nalala na daganywa usiku mzima. I would wake up and tell my husband leo shetani amenidaganya usiku mzima. Wacha na mimi niamuke nisome maandiko nisikie iko namna gani. The, the more you see God, the various dimensions of God that you see, the various uh, you know uh, uh, bodies, branches of knowledge. Knowledge in white, the knowledge of God is manifold. Makaliene seleka ya bilila silala knowledge the wisdom of god is manifold the wisdom of god is multidimensional knowledge is multi is manifold the wisdom of god is manifold the area that you see god in your life things work that particular area that you see god 
through his word unapata hiyo area iko na light ingine imefungana seek to know seek to know that dimension of god that you have not captured seek to understand what is this knowledge which is this knowledge that i don't have because the bible says that god is able to make all grace about to you that having all sufficiency you may excel in every area of your life paulo anasema the church of corinth the church of corinth the church of corinth had many graces but they didn't have the grace they were not excelling in the grace of giving they had the grace of faith they had the grace they had various grace manifestation of the grace of god but they had not seen they had not captured the dimension of giving so as you continue to see the dimensions of god through knowledge through wisdom unapata hekima fulani unapata hekima ya pesa uko nayo so that you may excel so well in speaking in the holy ghost lakini ikifika kwa pesa wewe ni kumisuse pesa kabisa ikifika ni kuchora michoro ya kwenda mbele mind yako haiko activated ile area unaona mungu kwa through his word there are things that god has, has activated in your life generously that the general goodness of god has caused some things to work for you but there are others that you got to seek knowledge you you got to have enlightenment there are areas you you are flowing pengine hata hekima kwenu ni ya kuzaliwa hiyo elia mumepewa kabisa hiyo hata si ati kuokoka hata mwizi wa huko kwenu akiingia class si anakuwa namba moja kuna hiyo general goodness of god ya kila mtu lakini kuna areas zingine zimehifadhiwa you grow in that branch of knowledge when i was in the university we would call them etymology etymology you have to get that particular branch the wisdom of god is manifold kuna ingine umepewa tu hata kama hujaokoka uko nayo you can cook so well lakini kukaa na husband unahitaji neema you need to grow you there, kila mtu wako na ka deficiency mahali abako kanahitajika uone hiyo u capture that dimension of god so that you can change you can metamorphose into the image of god so that e gap itajazo hakuna mtu akana ka deficiency mahali there is an area pengine kuandika vitabu uko sawa lakini there is an area everybody there is an area that you must capture you need wisdom manifold wisdom of god so that you bring glo- god glory in the beauty of life god is able to make all grace about ukue na hekima kama wewe ni kijana uweze kujua mapenzi haichokozwi mapema maana nikiichokoza mapema nitajichanganya nita na hatuko hapo kuishi kwa sababu ya mwili kama ni maobi ujue na niko na hekima ya kutafuta pesa lakini ila ni ya maobi hii lazima nitametamorphose hapa you have to identify the need area so that you keep growing yeah enlightenment ingine hata utaenda class literally ingine hata utaenda class ingine hata utaigiana na watu wa kudugaduge moyo mpaka u grow you know you need to, to know god upanuke upanuke mjue hata kuogea upanuke isikuwe wokovu wako watu wale huyu msichana huyu mama huyu kijana huyu mzee ameokoka lakini maongezi yake hii maongezi yake so as we receive knowledge we are being changed into christ every day na sio ya biblia peke yake ingine utaenda institution ingine utatafuta online enlighten you kupanuka isikuwe wokovu wako uko na wokovu unajua Mungu unapenda Mungu wewe unaiba vizuri unaogea na dimi lakini relationship na watu wewe ni baya kabisa sasa hiyo itakuwa inakufinyilia kwa moyo lazima tu grow line zote to allow dimension zote za hekima ya Mungu kama ni kulea watoto isikuwe na hubiri hapa ukiona watoto wangu utachukia uta mahubiri lazima nipa nijue nishikilie hapa nishikilie hapa nishikilie pale pengine nishikilie watoto nishikilie bwana hapa nishikilie hii kanisa ya online lazima tupate hekima ya kila kitu kuna wakati mwingine napigiwa na wazee simu wananiambia boy mama 
ogea na huyu bibi yangu kweli hakosagi fellowship hata kanisa ana hakosagi lakini ananuka akilala ananuka vibaya huyu kai so sasa mzee kama huyo hata kuambia muende kanisani kwa sababu kuna kaeli ya haigiani ni you need enlightenment you need to grow in knowledge you simply need knowledge hiyo kichwa ipanuke allow allow knowledge don't just block like i'm okay in this one but this one who say it i'm okay in this one but this one you know even that one remember you are son of god in glory you are a carrier of glory where when you come across Christ, which area allow the word of god metamorphose in all beauty of life beauty jua kuongea jua kukaa na watu jua kuhandle familia pokea knowledge ya kila aina ile pokea neema na leo nina activate nina activate hekima kwa kichwa yako ile inakupu inafanya uokovu haufurahi hiyo kaeria mungu akukonnect tu na dimension ambayo italeta enlightenment tukue supplied god is able to make all this about having more sufficiency we may having more sufficiency we may excel in every good thing of this kingdom upate hekima the wisdom of god is manful ingine nimekwambia iko tu kwa familia generously ingine ulienda class ukapata ingine utajitafutia maandiko na sana sana neno la mungu neno la mungu likiingia lina format kila kitu hakuna vile dad neno la mungu litaingia hata ushindi wa kupika si holy spirit ana to teach to all truths he will lead us into all truths the bible says the holy spirit shall guide you into all truths in your final ya final he in your final ya final kabisa so as i wind up tonight um romans 12 and verses uh romans 12 and verses 1 i beseech you brethren uh beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy to god which is your reasonable service and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god an old mind will not be able to pick an old mind will not be able to do the will of god an old mind agrees with the flesh ukiona believer ako na vituko ukiona believer ako na vitu na they are not growing there is a renewal that needs to happen in that particular believer it is, you could be born again but you are still fornicating you could be born again and you are still a drunkard yes the old mind may have this these cravings i end up with uh, i wind up with um, ephesians chapter number 4 Ukiokoka kuna safari ya kufanywa upya mawazo ndio uweze kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu ambayo iko kwa spirit yako kuna safari ya ya, ya, ya kukua serious journey na ni kubwa na ni mrefu ni mrefu unakaa kwa masomo kama haya unatoka una tu na kichwa mpya inakuwa formatted hata kama umeokoka kama neno la Mungu halitaingia mambo ya kale itaendelea kukusubua itakufuata itakufrustrate mpaka na nimeokoka i think nahitaji kuokoka vizuri it's not like hujaokoka vizuri i think nahitaji niombewe tena i think yule pastor aliniombea nikaokoka hakuwa na power ya kuniingiza kwa kingdom katikati pengine hata nilifika kwa mlango kwa sababu kuna vile dunia inanivuta mimi kuna vile appetite za dunia zinanivuta it's not salvation it's not less it's not yours even it's not yours salvation is full full full, full, full. 100% salvation is to the brain imeja salvation imeja kabisa salvation haijapungua hata hiyo unaongea hata hiyo unafanya haijafanya salvation si kazi yako it's a gift it's a gift you can't tamper with it it's about growth it's a growth issue it's to the level that your mind has changed accommodating biblical truths i am healed i'm delivered i'm born of god i'm i'm born of god i'm the righteousness of god allow this guy be talking this way don't find it folly to talk to self talk 
Don't talk, don't fight it like it's folly to talk yourself out. In your own room, simple methods but neglected greatly. But Christians fail for ignoring these simple principles. Talk yourself as God calls you. Kichwa ni kazi yako. Mabadiliko ya kichwa ni kazi yako. Kichwa yako ndio inakusubua. Kichwa yako ndio inafanya uende deliverance kumi. Maana haijaoshwa na neno la Mungu. No matter who prays for you, utaenda igini. Na ile siku utakufa, hiyo jioni utakuwa umeenda igini. Utaenda deliverance mpaka siku ya mwisho ya dunia hii. Kichwa mzee ni nyumba mzuri sana ya mapepo. Mapepo ina manipulate an old mind a lot. Let these strong words get out as we welcome the truth of the word of God. As we receive the truth, the mind is being washed. The mind is still being washed. Mind in Aosho. Ephesians 4 and verse 17. We read together. Take your Bible. We read together as I say, Good night. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk. We are reading uh, Fashions 4. What is the scroll? Fashions 4. We read. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind. It's not about robes. It's not about bangles. It's not about self-made righteousness. Receive a new mind and you do the will of God from the inside without struggle. Something you can do even when while not hiding. You know self-made righteousness, you only do it when people can see you. But when they cannot see you, you behave like a devil. Because the mind is really agreeing with the flesh. But when your mind is transformed, even in your sacred place, you'll be living that righteous person. That is the best, the, the, the best transformation. That, this I say therefore, and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk. And lo, in the futility of their mind, verse 18, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, verse 19, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanness, with greediness, by, but you have not so learned Christ. You see, it's, a, it's addressing the mind. Learning is a mind thing. You learn Christ to leave Christ. You don't pick things that symbolizes Jesus. You don't pick a cross. <laughs> Una, unaweka musalaba hapa. Unaweka kicheni hapa na musalaba. To show how Christ like you are. You could be a devil in the mind. Yes. It's a mind transformation. Unaweka ki musalaba hapa. Alafu hapa unaweka kabago. Na hapa kapete. Unakaagalia kana kukubusha yesu. That is idolatry. True transformation happens in the mind. True transformation comes by learning. True transformation comes by looking at Christ. We look at Christ. We look at Christ. We look at Jesus. We look at Jesus. We don't have to hang things to remind us Jesus. We look at Jesus in the word. We look at Jesus. It is alive and active. It is replicating itself as I'm looking at it. The Bible says, but you have not so learned Christ. 21. If indeed you have had him, if indeed, if indeed 
indeed you have heard him, Jesus. And check what is being preached in your church. If, it's, if they're not preaching the accurate gospel of Christ, make sure that you go to that church and join me on Monday, join me on Wednesday and Saturday for worship. They are, all, they are also other teachers of the gospel of grace. Wahubiri wako wa ukweli ambao wanahubiri neno la ukweli. We usipotelee pasta wako. Wende umskilize, lakini umake sure we unajitaftia mahali. Usihote hapo. Don't pledge blind loyalty. Blind, it will pledge blind loyalty. Blindness, blind loyalty, loyalty, blindness. Pledging allegiance to things that are not building you. If it's not Christ who is being preached in the pulpit, I can tell you, there's no nobody is growing. Nobody is growing. They are church goers and they are babes. They are emotional people. They are emotional believers. If the gospel be Christ, people are maturing. There is no other formula to mature. Not even a miracle. Actually, a church of miracles is full of babes. They even don't know the, the, the miracle work. That is not the formula even to raise people. They don't know him. Actually, atapata mujiza na arudi kwa maisha yake. Mujiza ikimaliza hakuja tena. Oh, tulioba na wewe, unani kubuka. You see, the many comes to you. You remember who? Five years. What happened? Si uliti ya bea ni kaza alafu. Udiye huyu mutoto ni mukubwa. Alafu leo kuna nini? Amegojeka. Alafu unafukuza pepo. And they don't love God. Anybody who sees Christ will love him. The, the formula to raise people, Mujiza ni Missouri, but let Christ be taught, let Christ be preached. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus. The truth is in Jesus. If you talk about Christ, if you teach people Christ, they are growing, they are transforming. 22. That you put off concerning your former conduct that you put off utoe tabia zile za zamani how how some people i was doing my own research and i saw a certain denomination that is usually followed by very many people they read this and many other verses put off mortify the deeds of the flesh and they started now kuchukua ni whip Unachapa mwili, unaumiza mwili, literally unaumiza mwili diyo, isipate maapetite. Na usioe, usikuwe na pressure ya hii dunia. Na lafu kukula, unakula kadogo, usiku na muka unawaba maratatu, na unajichapa maratatu. Aondi ya wanaitabu wa saints. Sasa ukijitesa sana, wanaamini, ukijitesa sana, utaweza kupenda kristo sana. Na ukikufa, utaitu wa saints. Ukikufa, utaenda kuzimu. Kama ujaokoka, kama ujajua righteousness ya Christ. Ujiuwe tu, kuna wawo, kuna, kuna mwingine nilikuwa na soma. Alichukua, sijia naitua sainti huu. Alichukua, alikuwa mekula kichakula. Sasa alikuwa nataka kukufa akiwa clean kabisa. Alikuwa nataka kukufa akiwa clean. So alichukua kijiti, akajiduga, akajinyoga na ewa. Mpaka akafikia ile chakula ilikuwa kwa tubo Akatapika, akakufa Akakufa, akaitwa saint They are literally putting off this body They are naturally They read the Bible with a natural mind Put off And I, I was challenging a certain man Telling me that we should We should mortify, we should kill the, How do you kill? Killing is a sin Not killing like per se you receive the word. The word washes the mind. The mind will now agree with the spirit. You live right. You live right. You are righteous. You don't do right to be right. Actually, wakati unajiwa, sasa siwe umejipeleka kuzimu direct. Si cast be any man who shall hang themselves on a tree. Wengine wamesurubiwa upside down. Akasema mimi maisha yangu na itolea. Wale wambawa wako duniani, the bizangu. Wale wako duniani na wale ambao wako paratoli. I render my life for those. So, wacha mimi ni churubiwe ni kufe sasa nikiwa ni napeta Yesu. That is blindness that have been brought by God of this age. 
They read the Bible, they cannot see. They don't have the spirit of revelation because they have rejected the Holy Spirit. So they interpret the word of God with counsel. They interpret with the word of God with the rules of the church. Men sit down, professors, Learned people, psychologists, they sit down for this one. They can't see anything. It's not a natural book. A natural mind cannot understand it. When you're talking about putting off, don't bring your grammar here. It's not like now I remove my what? Atinitoe jicho. James uli niabia kama jicho uli tafanya nisiye debiguni. Uli tuabia tuchukue, tutuwae, tutupe. Itaka, itakuangalia na sitasikia vitu bibaya. Mind in a jerk, macho, macho, I know, funny macho in a sheet, macho in a fikirianga. The mind, the signal from the mind, the body cannot be where the mind is not. The word of God washes. I call you righteous. Talk that way, think that way. Upna poomba, first thank God for the righteousness. Thank you, Lord, that I'm the righteousness of God. And the devil is reminding you, and the way you stole today. The, 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 the secret to not to steal is by accepting who you are. The secret to live right is beholding Jesus. Behold Jesus. As you call yourself righteousness, righteousness is in Christ. You're looking at Jesus. And the way you, you and the way you, that, the devil is the accuser. He will not call you anything good. He will call you what you did. He will call you what you do. He will call you how you talk. He will call you what people call you. He will call you when you are a you talk to you. That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You see, he was not talking about putting off the body. Like you die, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You're new in your spirit. You're the righteousness of God. Amen. Be settled with this truth. Amen. Look at Jesus. Amen. Second Corinthians three eighteen, the Bible says to Malisa and Aisa, say, Second Corinthians three eighteen, the Bible says, but we all with open face, beholding us. Says Yambao. Atuko kwa giza, unajua wana wa Israeli wamefunikwa wasione Christ. So tukisema, but we all with open face, ni sisi Gentiles, sisi ambao tumefunuliwa, tuweze kuwana Christ, beholding us in a grass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. As you see righteousness, you are changed into righteousness. Yes, sisi ambao tumeondolewa getama, that we can see Jesus. Israelites cannot see Jesus. Most of them, when you preach to them, they cannot see because they are veiled. They are veiled. They have been stopped. They have been hidden from seeing. They have been blocked from seeing. But as we can see, because the veil was removed, the cutting that hindered us to know God was removed so we can see. So as we behold Jesus, as we look unto Jesus, we are changed. In what you, you, you change into what you see. You change into what you see. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory. The more you see your healing, the more you change into it. The more you see the righteousness of God, the more you move towards it. The more you see that you are rich, Second Corinthians 8 verse 9. Reject poverty by sight. Kata hama. Hama tu, ongea na uangalia Biblia tena na tena. Ijue, ijue, tunapo muangalia, tunabadilishwa na kufanana na yule ambaye tunamuangalia. Tunatoka kiwago kimoja cha utukufu, ukiangalia sana, unamfanana. Ukiangalia sana, unamfanana. Ukiangalia sana, unamfanana. Unangalia utakatifu. Unangalia vitu zote ambazo Mungu amesema kwa maandiko. Unavyoangalia you are changed into the same image. Please notice the power of sight. You are changed into what you see. You see the wrong that you did, you are glued there, you are trapped there, tomorrow you do another one. You see the careless talk that you produced today, 
you really mourn about it, you stay there, you call yourself that way, bad talker, you remain there, tomorrow you go to the next level of bad talking. Reject power of sight. See, the Bible says, we are changed into the same image, from glory to glory. Some people have transformed more than others, depending with the time that they take in seeing. The more you see, the more you are changed into that image which you are seeing from glory to glory. The formula to live righteously is by behold, by looking at he who is righteous. We look at he who is righteous and we are metamorphosed into him. We are changing into the image of he who created us. How? By the way we wear, the, by the way we eat. By the, it's by looking at him, then the grace of God for us to live right flows. Not by legalistic, legalistic loads, not by rules set, set by men, but the grace of God makes us to flow into that good, good people. Psalms that are four, verses five. Psalms that are four, verses five. Psalms that are four, verses five. They looked unto him and were lightened. They looked, they looked unto him. Jack Ben, you're too quiet. I can see you. They looked at him and they are, the Bible says, Psalms 34 and verses 5. They looked at unto him and were lightened. As we look at Jesus, our faces grow brighter. As we look at Jesus, we grow brighter. As we look at our righteousness in Christ, we are able to live it just by looking. Believe what God says you are. Believe, believe, no, read the word of God. Enda leo ukilala, andika jina righteousness. Such man di koyote ya righteous. Iangalie, iangalie, iseme, ijue, iandike. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. If you know you are righteous, Isaiah 3 verse 10 will work for you. It will not work for you because it is written. It works for you when you reach that level of conviction. Truly, this is who I am. They looked unto him and were lightened. You cannot look at Jesus and be darkened and their faces were not ashamed. I refuse to be distracted in my sight, Dad. I look at Jesus. All I see is Jesus. All I see is you. Oh God. As I worship and adore you. This is where I want to be. In the presence of
you go and search you go and search all I see is you by Sinach Sinachi Sinak Kusharada Kapasili Katalara Bashata Rinteke se kalababa bashara. Linda kapara de su kapara da 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 basheta. Lin kumpra gadasta la gadasta la gadasta. Sempere kataya bihenda kasoli kataya. I, I, I read for you relics because if I play the video, it will make this video to be mute. Otherwise I would have played the song for you, but it will be mute. The, uh, the, 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 the lyrics goes, it's sung by Sinaki and another choir there. Sinaki or Sinachi. All I see is you as I worship and adore you. Refuse to see anything else. For, okay, Psalm 36 verse 9. Refuse to see what is happening in your life. The formula to shift is by looking at Jesus. In Jesus there is perfection. He is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Things will work. Keep at it. Persistence is the principle in this kingdom. Persistence is a principle in this kingdom. Time also shall find your bread after many days. Patience. God also is training our hearts to be patient. So it's not like you look at your healing and that very minute you're healed. Sometimes if you're a spiritual baby, it will work immediately. Kama mungu anataka ukue, it might take time. Remember, one of the character of God is that he is long-suffering. It must be found in you too. Actually, it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Long-suffering. Yes. Long-suffering is a fruit. It's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. So that it's not impatience. That it is not working does not mean your sight, the word is not working. The word is working. See, the word is working. See, the word is working. Also, go and search that song by Ada. See, the word is working by Ada. This is this is done by Sinaki. It says, all I see is you as I worship and adore you. I yield myself to you. This is where I want to be in your presence. Oh Lord, all I see is you. All I see is you. Sorry? Sorry? Okay. Uh -huh. I am looking for, for with you is the fountain of life. For by that song is by Pastor Chinto. Psalms 36 verses 9. For with sight, sight, sight. What you see is very important. See God. See Jesus, Jesus all the way. Hold on faith. God has not ignored faith. He will not ignore you as either. And be very prayerful. Set yourself on fire. Fire for God. So that is Psalms 36, verse 9. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Glory to God. You are blessed. You cannot be cursed. You're big, you're huge. You are a force. You are a king. You are a priest. You are the righteousness of God. You are healed. You are the light of the world. You are delivered. You cause change. You cause great things to happen. Wherever you go, change goes. Wherever you go, light goes. You are a carrier of glory. You are a son of God in glory. The devil cannot touch you. You don't have any debt with sin. Whatever is born of sin, may it be pain, may it be suffering, poverty, death. We reject them and we decree we are the righteousness of God by faith. Touch not, my anointed one. You're blessed. Have a good night. Share the broadcast before you sleep. Pia tukona, tutakutana Saturday, matangaza tukutana Saturday, sane, kuja tuwabudu mungu, hii kingdom ni mikuambia, Ni yeah, dimension ni mingi sana. Exercise yourself in the grace of God. Penda hata kumwabudu Bwana. Unapojua kile Mungu amekufanya by the end of the day I'm building I'm making a worship out of you. When you see the love of God over your life, just love him and feel to worship him. I'm happy for those that I can see share the broadcast. We we share the light with other souls 
elsewhere. There are those very committed saints who makes me to feel I cannot miss coming. Your commitment is good. It's a communication also that you want to change. Even if I get one serious person, I tell you, I've spent two hours with that saint. Because there, if, if I change one person, I know I change a generation. That that that, that, that makes me to fear. And so, Pia to Kona Worship Encounter. Worship Encounter. Uh, it will be happening on the uh, 16th, 16th December this year. Uh, the Holy Spirit has quickened my heart. I'm calling it um, Worshiping, uh, uh, Manifestation of the Glory of God through Worship. Manifestation of the Glory of God through Worship. Help us in prayers. Also, your financial support. Tunahitaji sana. Kuna link, nimekuwa nime, nime nikiweka link so that una, una, una join to alafu una pledge support yako before that day una unaweza, unaweza sasa tupea kitu alafu ukuje come in person come in person live inakata kitu live haiwezi kuletea experience ya kabisa yenye iko ukiweza ukuje maiko you fly that day come today you cannot see babies I don't know at the end of happy, maybe a cocazi. I just counted where you are coming. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. It's from the heart. It has touched my heart. What comes from the heart touches the heart. I'm touched. You're blessed. Keep, keep, keep. I, I've been praying for you, by the way. When I see seriousness in a person, I do pray for them. So I don't tell them, but I pray for them. Actually, all those saints who are here, they're very committed. They're very serious. Iyo liki kwa hapi, kuna mwale hawaja join hapa. Aji rosija kuwana bado. Ama ni hile private yako na mimi. Kuna ipata. Kama ujabuze iyo liki, tupatane pale. Night of photo see you only. Yes, can you see it? Ulito and it was up here, Kwapa. I'm trying to get the link, I cannot get it. Welcome, Catherine. Welcome, Rosemary. You're blessed. Aje really kata. Wacha niweke tena tuone. Oh, I cannot see it. Ita pata linko hapi. Is 
see more complicated. This is a copy, I love you. What? A busa sa paste. Okay, okay, and the Facebook paste. Begin it, it's a ebu. A rudy quaco, you just press. Now press and paste. Nagodia mukalale. Yeah, it's a cool life. It's a cool life. It will be live. It will be live. To be live, we try to improve on sound this time. We we we, we try to improve on sound. Amen. Agnes, you're blessed. Hey Nelly, good night. Hope to see you. You promised to come. The matches a My post. Eh? Mm -hmm. Able to try a now. now. Eco acting. Eco. Able to jaribu. Alternatively, I I can add you directly. I can tell the admin to add you directly. Amen, Rosemary. Thank you. Mini Taishi ni shibe. Gonna eternal life. Yes. Basi. Try the link. Try the link. I'm checking in on WhatsApp na angalia kama umeingia. Na wengine? Jack Ben. Jack Ben ameenda. Pia Jack Ben hacha kunipotelea hivi ananipotelea. Anajificha ficha hapo na ninamuona tu. Lucy ndio unaingia ama ulikuwa ndani? Lucy, ulikuwa ndani madri nume enroll. Aya, you're blessed. You, you, you're blessed, I love you. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Minikata sasa. 